Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here coming to you real quick. Um, today is June 1st and it's the last day of school. So I am super excited. Uh, Miss Pina was not happy to get up this morning. She just wanted to sleep in. And I told her, you got tomorrow and you got Friday. You can sleep in, no problem. But um, you got to get up today. So uh, fix her a nice, cute little breakfast and send her on her way. And uh, today the kids got to be semi out of uniform. They still had to wear the uniform shirts, but they could wear, you know, um, bottoms of their choice as long as they were within guidelines. So it's kind of cool today, um, 59 degrees when we got up. So I told her, you know, wear capris um, and I sent her with a little jacket. But anyway, I'm super excited that it's the last day of school. Um you know, summertime is just the most fun time for us, you know, because we do a lot of different things, you know, go to the library, go to the pools, the different parks, you know, we also, if it's really hot, we'll, you know, go to a museum or something like that, just to do some fun things, um, you know, just to keep her mind expanded. Uh, but that brought me to a sad point when I thought about it today, you know, seeing the kids and, you know, happy to see their friends. But then, you know, some of them are going to be moving away. Some of them are going to be going to different schools and just not knowing um, how the kids are going to be over the summer. And I don't know, I guess I get a little emotional or attached, even though half the kids I don't know, but still still attached, you know, like a mama bear. Um and the reason being is because, you know, we live in a in a city, you know, metropolitan area, and um, it's not big as some cities, but I mean, big enough, you know, it's not the rural area of our state. And um, there's been just so many acts of violence going on, just random acts of violence, um, you know, people with these guns and just shooting people and not getting their intended target, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, just recently we... We had a death pretty much in the family, kind of extended family, but still family nonetheless. And, um, you know, right around the corner from my, my parents' home. And so that kind of, um, it shook my spirit a little bit because, you know, had my parents been five minutes sooner getting out the door and up the street, that could have been them or one of them or both of them, you know what I'm saying? And so, um... I really feel saddened by the loss that has, you know, happened this past, uh, it happened last week. So it's been almost a week now. And, um, you know, it was a grandmother, you know, killed in front of her grandchild. Um, and just, it's just not okay. So, you know, I worry now that, you know, our school is getting out. I want to say our school is one of the first schools in our area to be getting out and then there'll be other schools closing Friday there'll be schools closing next Tuesday and Wednesday and then I think the following Friday as well so then all schools across the board here at home will be you know kids will be out and so I worry about our young people because um if they don't have anything to do, if they don't have parents like myself, you know, and boss man who make sure that our child is well-rounded, making sure she's, you know, either going to enrichment classes or doing things at the library, you know, different adventures and things, you know, something possibly could happen to them. A lot of these kids, they don't have those outlets, so they'll just be hanging out, you know. And also, there are... um just random acts of violence where, you know, people are at home and getting you know, hurt and things. So, you know, so I, I pray for our young people uh, because the world is getting bad. It's getting so bad. And I just, I feel bad for the, um, for the children because we don't have many things for them to do. And if we do have things for them to do, it's very expensive. You know, you have to know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody where you can get a discount, especially if you're in the, you know, tax bracket like us or, you know, or even higher up, you know. So, um, you know, it's it's really hard. I know I've done a lot of networking, trying to find different things, which I need to send off today. I'll be doing that when I pick up Miss Peanut. But, you know, just making sure that she has everything lined up, you know, um, it's sad that I can't have her do things in the inner city because of the violence. Um, so, you know, because we're, you know, right on the, uh, edge of a suburb, you know, she does things in the suburbs and stuff, but you know, that's sad. And then we have some people who live in the suburbs and they think that they're safe and 
they're not safe. So, you know, I just, I put a charge out to everyone to just, you know, pray for young people everywhere. Not just, you know, here at home with me, but, you know, all the states because there's violence going on everywhere. You know, um, I'm getting ready to go in now and turn the news on. I'm waiting to hear about this uh, federal case about a young man who was killed by the police. And, you know, they're trying to pin it all on him when... The evidence clearly shows he was killed, but, you know, so I'm trying to see, are they, are the police going to be, you know, charged at the federal level? Because they weren't charged at the civil, I mean, at the, you know, um, the city level. So, I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of randomness going on, which is just crazy. And so, I just, I put a charge out to everybody. Just, you know, if you have young people in your life, keep them close. You know, find something for them to do. Activities. I was talking to a parent um, yesterday at work. And she was saying how she was going to be giving her kids um, different lessons. And I said, yeah. I said, that's that's what I do too. You know, we have this poster. And I'll, I'll post a picture of it at the end of this clip. But I have a poster of 100 inventors that... Some of them I knew, some of them boss men knew, and then there were some that we did not know. But Miss Peanut, by the end of this summer, she will know, if not all 100, at least 50 of them. Because there will be an assignment every week. I don't care if, you know, you got to look it up on the internet, you know, go to the library, but you're going to study, you're going to learn about them. Especially because she loves science. You know, so that's stuff that we do to make sure that she's one, she's still getting her education, and she's... She has something to do. You know, she's busy. So that's what we do with ours. You know, time out for all the playing. I mean, you can play anytime, but education is something that needs to be done on a daily basis. So I'm still excited. That's the last day of school because that means we have two days left to the girls trip. So you guys have a great day. I just wanted to vlog a little bit. Um, Miss Pina's going on a picnic, but it's clouding up out here. So... Hopefully they don't get rained on, <laughs> but uh, you guys be well, and I'll see you all in a new video. I have a new video lined up for you guys that I'll probably post tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.